Hello, nice to see you again, you know. <laughs> and please tell me, are you a digital narcissist? What do you think about your situation? Because we have a lot of impact from social media. And is it true the social media made us a narcissist? Hmm. Are you a digital narcissist? How to avoid Kardashianization? Jean Twench and her research, I'm important and famous, in the 60s around 12% of young people endorse it. By the 90s, that number had increased to 80%. What is healthy versus unhealthy narcissism? Normal narcissism refers to a well-integrated sense of self that is generally for the greater good, such as a healthy sense of pride in oneself and one's accomplishments. Pathological narcissism describes extreme fluctuations between feelings of interiority and failure with a sense of superiority and grandiosity. Test, are you a narcissist? Ten questions, true or false. I love being the center of attention. I would rather be rich and famous than a good person. I am often jealous of other people's success. I am easily annoyed when others criticize me. People who know me appreciate my talents. I view myself more favorable than others do. I like to surround myself with people who admire me. I crave other people's approval. I am destined for greatness. I find it hard to fake humility. How many times have you answered true? Zero to three, you are cultural outlier. Four to six, average. And seven to ten, you are a social media's dream customer. How to overcome narcissistic tendencies? Workplaces led by people who value humility over narcissism will be less likely to engage in toxic practices. A company led by humble leaders or leaders who present as humble is a company with a culture of learning. The next time you feel the need to post something for validation yourself, stop and ask, what is driving me? If you can shift your motivation from collecting likes to forming genuine connections with others, you will be a step closer to humility. Thank you for watching and see you next time.